this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all. Now, uh, I want to talk about when it comes to self-defense. Now, I want to talk about um, um, something that, you know, I just ran across um, a little while ago and everything. And, you know, this is something that I think all gun owners need to know. Now, in the event that you draw your weapon, you know, or something's about to happen, you draw your weapon on somebody, always call the police. You know, don't, don't never draw your weapon. And then forget all about it because you don't want the other person that you draw your weapon on. They'll call the police and then they'll come after you. And so it was a situation where um, I knew someone where, you know, they got in a, they in a situation now where, you know, the police came and got them because somebody said they draw the farm on them. And so you want to always call the police. You won't be the first one to call. Don't let the other person call. You know, if you draw your weapon on somebody and, you know, they look like they were trying to do something or, or rob you or whatever the case may be. And, you know, you just can't put your gun back up and just go away. Because guess what? They'll get on the phone and call and say, hey, somebody just draw the phone on me and everything and just drive whatever you're driving and whatever the situation. And guess what? They're coming to look for you because it had happened. And the situation, like I said, could e be easily done if the person just went on and called the police, you know, when they draw their farm. And now they're in a um, whole, not, whole lot of situation and stuff. So, you know, don't get yourself in that situation. In the event that you draw your farm, call the, be, make sure you still call the police because the other person could call or, you know, the suspect can call and stuff. And guess what? They're going to respond to the person who called, you know, so they're coming after you. And so, you know, you don't want a lot of these things to, you know, to get out of, get out of hand or go the other direction. So now I know a gun owner who in a situation where, you know, he didn't report it. And so, you know, in certain states, I'm talking about certain states, these different laws and stuff, you never know what they can, uh, what can happen and charges and stuff can be filed and stuff like that. So, you know, you always want to be the one called the police. So this will save you a lot of headache and everything. So make sure in event, cause it's a lot of, now, when it comes to a lot of, uh, you know, self-defense situation, a lot of people don't know. A lot of self-defense situations do not actually um, involve, you know, someone actually firing a weapon. A lot of times, actually, people just drawing their weapon in the self-defense, maybe the person to back off or go away and stuff. But in the event that any of that happened, call the police. I'm talking about don't just put your phone on and think everything is okay and stuff. Call the police because the other person can call or someone that watching the situation to see you pull out a weapon on somebody, they can call. So, you know, you always want to get yourself in the clear and be the first one to call if you have to draw your weapon. Be on the phone or whatever the case may be and describe who you are and stuff. So look out for yourself so you won't end up in no more trouble and stuff like that when it comes to a lot of these laws and stuff and gun laws and stuff like that. So I appreciate you for watching this DC Channel Guns and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.